Welcome again to Bay Hill Studio. Today we have something different in store for you. I typically bring you quilting, sewing related content, but every once in a while I like to do something different and I thought this would be a fun Mother's Day or other gift idea um, to try out. It, it's a blast and great for beginners. Recently I was inspired by the Golden Poppies fabric when I made this um, wallet folder and this Golden Poppies fabric is from Riley Blake Designs and I just love the brilliant colors and I want to um, kind of play with that, that Poppies idea with this vase pour. So I'm um, just, I'm using acrylic, let me show you, acrylic, pouring acrylic colors. So this is pouring paint. Um, typically with pouring paint you can mix your own pouring paint with a pouring medium and a regular acrylic paint these are already mixed for you so you don't have to do any mixing they're ready to go that's what makes this so great for beginners and what we're going to do is i have this vase sitting on a cup sitting on a record now this record is just an old record that i found at a thrift shop it's scratched up and ready for a new life um, it's sitting on a, this is sitting on a cup um, to keep it off of the record so that when I pour the paint over the vase, it will land onto the record and then I get to make two projects in one and you'll see how that goes. All right, so to start out, I picked a few colors that I thought would be good. I've got, these are all Arteza and I've got um, phthalo green, gold, uh, black, and uh, titanium white and then I don't have my glasses on let's see mid yellow and then I didn't have an orange and I didn't want just a regular orange anyways and so what I did is I combined this vermilion red and neon orange and I got this gorgeous red orange that's definitely you can see a little bit of neon going on in there and I just mixed those up so we're going to use that and I'm just going to get started. So all you do is get a cup and we're just going to start layering paints in the cup. So I'm going to start with some white. And then we will layer, hmm, let's do some green. Shake it up. And next I will do some gold. And then I think I will do a little bit of black. And then we'll go for this gorgeous red orange color. Let me take out the popsicle stick. And then I will layer some yellow. And then I'm going to layer those all one more time. And I just have no idea how this is going to turn out. We'll just see how it goes. I don't think you can go wrong. I'm going to say, use the rest of that orange. I really want that to be a primary color in this project. Okay, so I've got those. You know, I'm going to add a little bit more white just at the end. Okay, so I've got those layered and I'm not going to mix them. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle them um, in a, a tree ring formation over the vase. So just over the vase and you can go around the edges of the vase. You can stay in the center however you want to do it. You can turn the cup as you pour. And um, just to mention before I do this, I did clean this vase. Um, I ran it through the dishwasher. I found this at a thrift shop for, I don't know, 50 cents. I ran it through the dishwasher and then after that I did clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to make sure it's extra clean so that the paint can stick on it. And here we go. Start pouring. OK, 
Okay. It was really hard for me to get this level and I can already see that it's not very level. So I am going to focus more on this side. There we go. Get those colors on there. And then if you need to add more paint, um, just let it drip, let it fall over the edges. And if you need to add more paint, you can definitely do that. So I think, I think I'm going to add one more little round of paint. So let's just start layering some paint in there. Let's see. Um, actually, I'm going to do a little bit of different order this time. A little bit of more of that red orange left and some gold. Okay, and I'm just going to drip this over. Let me try to level my vase just a little bit. It does not want to, it doesn't want to stay level. So I'll tip it up with my hand a little bit. All right, let's pour again. And I'm just going to let it come down nice and slow. And it's just going to do its own thing. And you can see some of these colors are starting to play together just really nicely. I love it. Now in this second round, the green is coming out a lot more, which I just love. I think that's gorgeous. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this drip for about five minutes. Um, let it leave it for, and I'm probably gonna have to hold this cause it just doesn't want to stay level for about three to five minutes. Just let it drip over the edge of the vase. And if it's still not covering, everything I might just add a little bit more so let's just see how this goes Some more paint in there and it's covering almost everything I'm gonna go a little bit more on this side because the vase is slightly tipping this way
Okay, now if you have to touch the vase at all at this point, it's fine. This um, paint is going to keep dripping for hours even. And so this vase has a really strong inward curve and the paint wants to drip straight off it and not down over the curve in a few parts. And so I just picked up some paint from this vinyl record and touched up a few spots. And by doing that, it actually helps guide the paint up here over that better. And so it's going to want to travel that path. And if not, it's still okay because I've covered it with paint. So I'm just doing a few more. Okay. And then the other thing, you don't need to worry about um, paint on the rim that will drip off. If you need to sand it a little bit, you can, but typically you shouldn't have to. So I am going to um, leave this for about five minutes and then we'll come back and we'll do the record portion of this. So it's been a few minutes and the dripping has really slowed down. And now I'm just going to take a minute and go over it with this culinary blowtorch. If you don't have it, it's okay. This just helps get rid of any air bubbles that might be in it. So I'm going to do that and it might release a few cells. And it might not. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, I don't know if you can see right here, there's just a few tiny cells, but really all over, I really don't see any others. This paint just seems to be really even. Um, I'm not even seeing air bubbles, to be honest. I don't think if you don't have a blowtorch, I don't think you would even need one. I'm just going to go over it one more time just to be safe, but I truly don't see any and I would say you don't actually need it. Okay. So now I'm going to reach under and with the cup holding the cup i'm going to lift it up and just place it over here and let it continue dripping and it'll continue dripping um for you know several hours and um and i'm just going to leave it alone for a, and let it just dry for a couple days and if you accidentally touch the top of your um vase that's really okay because it will keep dripping and it'll be totally fine now it's time to have fun with this record. You'll notice I slipped this piece of vinyl, I mean this piece of parchment under. I had it on this rotating tray um, so I could spin, let me move this more out of the way, so I could spin it gently as I worked and also keep it up off of the table because once the paint drips down, I have these puppy pads under here but once the paint strips down there, I don't really want to set the vinyl record onto it. Now, all you have to do with this is tip it so that the paint covers everything. And there's no right or wrong way. You can let the paint just go through the center. That's totally fine. And it did look like this record had a sticker on it. It actually wasn't. It was printed on to the record itself. If it had a sticker, I would have definitely taken that off. Okay, let's bring that back. I'm just gonna get it over this edge just a little bit more. If you don't like 
This is a little bit muddy here and I can just tip it off. If you don't like something, just tip it off. And then um, I'm going to, again, take the blowtorch just really quickly. This does have air bubbles and so this will help um, get rid of those. I can see them popping, but again, not too bad. If you don't have this, no worries. You can see it's bringing up these little tiny cells and that also could be, I kept it a little bit too long right there, which is fine though, no worries. That looks good. Now I'm just going to stretch it a little bit more. I really love this red orange. I love it. So, and I love what's happening on this side. So we're just going to Try to accentuate it all. I'm going to be honest, I love all of the colors. I love what's happening here. It almost looks like a wood grain, but the edge of my record isn't completely covered in paint. You can fix that with your fingers if you want, but I'm just going to let it drip off a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I think I love that and I'm going to leave it. So we're just going to let this dry and um, really you want to let it dry for a couple of days um, to get really so that you don't accidentally touch it when it's tacky. And then after we let it dry, um, we'll cover it with resin and it will be ready to go. I just wanted to take one minute and explain this setup a little bit. I do have this on a kind of see if I can lift this up, a Lazy Susan turntable, because I can't find my baking rack. Normally I would prefer to put it on a baking rack that has holes that the paint can drip through as it dries. I just can't find it. So I am going to hunt that down and move this to the baking rack because I really don't want it sitting on this solid surface and getting stuck to the paint below it. But while we're at it, let's take a look at these gorgeous colors. Look at that design. This is all what poured off of the vase. And I bet you thought when you saw it pour off the base that it was just going to be a muddy mess. But look at the patterns and designs throughout here. You've, it just, it's just stunning. So, and then let's just take a look at the vase, how it's coming along and I'll kind of turn it for you. You can see every way I turn it is unique, one of a kind. Just stunning colors all throughout. I love this milky part right here, but I love all of it. I love the little streaks of yellowish green in there. They're just so unexpected. It looks like just a beautiful piece of marble almost. So um, this vase, once we put on resin on it, it will be usable. You can use it to put flowers in or whatever you want. And this we will um, turn into, you can, use the center and put some kind of um, hook through it or something and hang it on the wall. I've seen people frame them and hang them on the wall. So you can figure out um, lots of different uses, but I think this is going to go on our wall. So we'll come back in a few days and, and finish them up. 
And here they are, all dried and finished and ready to enjoy and look at the colors. Now they really pop because I added a resin finish. So you can also do a clear varnish or whatever you want. The resin is high shine, high gloss, and really makes those colors pop. And for these projects, that's just what I wanted to do. You'll notice I turned the clock into the record into a wall clock, and that's an easy thing to do. I'll talk about that on my blog, and the link um, for that will be in the description below. But take a look at all the colors that came out. You just never know, and I'm just loving each color and all the different swirls and feathering patterns that came out of this. Um, just some gorgeous, even some gorgeous blues and. I didn't even add blues to this project. So that's a really fun surprise how the paints mix as you pour. And look at those streaks, just breathtaking. So um, I really hope that you enjoyed this as much as I do and I hope that you'll give it a try. I'll be doing some more pours in the future. So please like and subscribe for more content like this and have a great day.